welcome to my channel my name is Shida and if you're new and you like my contents please do support my channel by clicking the like button also don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified the next time I post a video so I'm actually doing a voiceover for this video because um, I had my microphone on no, I have my microphone plugged in but it wasn't on so unfortunately the um, the sound for the footage is gone so I was just explaining to you guys that I went to Target and I picked up my favorite soap which is Mrs. Mayer's hand soap and yeah I was, I was explaining that when I got to Target I purchased online and they couldn't find my order in the store they didn't know where they put it so because I was waiting for a while for them to locate the soap they actually gave me a $15 gift card and the order was only um, $10 so I did get a $15 gift card so basically I got that for free so I was explaining that also um, I don't remember every single thing I was saying word for word but I was just showing you guys the stuff that I bought and explaining to you guys that I'm going to oh yeah so right there I was showing you guys that I had to buy softener because um, I was running out of softener I usually buy it in bulks but the one that I have they didn't have it the scent that I have they didn't have that scent they only had the rainforest scent and I'm not too fond of it so I only bought one so I'm gonna have to go on Amazon and search for the scent that I like and at least purchase three to four of them so I was showing you guys oh yeah me pouring um, the softener into my softener um, glass bottle that I use for my laundry and I was explaining how much I love the bottle and how sturdy the bottle um, the glass bottle is I have one for my softener and I have one also for my detergent I made a spill so I'm actually cleaning off the spill that I made I'm just so mad the voice to this footage is not there because I'm voicing over but I can't really like give you hands-on of exactly what I was saying and it was so much information and right now I'm talking to you guys um, doing voiceover and I don't even remember every single thing that I was saying but yeah I was explaining about the bottle I'm washing it off and I'm gonna put it back where I keep my laundry detergent and my softener yeah so um, yes I was showing you guys and that's the one for the detergent and it stays detergent on there and the little tag that is around the glass bottle is made out of wood so it's very sturdy so you put it in water it's not paper nothing is going to happen to it okay and I was also showing you guys that I went to Target and I purchased this um, I don't know if you guys watched my last video where I showed you the riser that I purchased for my bathroom. I also did an unboxing on the riser and I was showing you guys that I love it so much that I went ahead and got one for my kitchen. That um, tray in my hand is where I used to have my um, soap, dish soap, hand soap and my all-purpose cleaner. Um, those three glass bottles you see right there. I removed that and I put that riser from Target. I love it because 
for some reason when water spills on it or anything more spills on it it absorbs the water um, on its own and it doesn't stay wet and make a big puddle like the one that I just removed from there so I'm actually so obsessed with it and um, I don't know what I was doing there probably went to get some bags to show you guys what I purchased okay so right there I was showing you guys that um, I had purchased six of those um, little um, thing from my kids room and two wasn't available so I went ahead and got two um, those two colors from a different store um, so now they have six instead of four and it's all color coordinated um, what else I was showing you guys here um, oh my god guys please forgive me because I lost the sound and I really don't want to not show you guys this video because I was showing you guys um, stuff that I purchased and I don't want to do the video all over again because it's just going to come off and look so fake so yeah um, oh yeah so I purchased that's a spice bun my husband bought that um, from the current store I bought planting chips um, my thyme my scallion um, my aki because I'm gonna make aki and sawfish the Jamaican national dish so that's what I was showing you guys um, cabbage is for another day I always like to have cabbage because we eat a lot of it and those are avocados, tomatoes, and I think I put the pumpkin there as well. So yeah. My Alexa came on, so I was just turning it off. It came on on its own, I don't know. I guess it was listening. And I was showing you guys right here. Um, let me see. Oh, I was showing you guys where I keep my bags. Um, over my little pantry and my broom area right there. That little area right there is where I keep all my bags and stuff. It's my actually my broom area for my, for my broom and mop and bucket but I don't use it I use it to store bags and stuff on top of that is my little pantry but I have like coffee mates instead of it tea stuff stuff that has not been open I stock up there um, those things that you get when you order food those little sauces and stuff I save those for my kids because they always like to use them and that's what I use my pantry for I have stuff on top of it um, that's brand new stuff in boxes those are juicers and um, glass jugs and stuff like that that I haven't um, used yeah and uh, over here I don't know what I'm showing you guys I don't remember oh I was showing you guys that I those cupboards on top of there that's where I put my food store my food so I don't need to use the pantry and yeah, I'm so mad I just see guys you can see that I'm wearing my mic but it's not on there's no light on it oh my god I don't like to do voiceovers at all uh, and this video is around 20 minutes so 
Oh. oh okay yeah so now i'm going to show i'm showing you guys um the package that i got from Saks fifth avenue but i put it to the side right there i have strawberries in mine because i'm going to make me a a little juice um strawberry and pineapple juice for myself that's pumpkin I'm going to steam pumpkin as well um, with my hockey and sawfish um, dish. Um, what else? I stepped away from the camera. Okay, and I'm showing you guys that I bought watermelon. And uh, oh, my green bananas. I bought two green bananas because, of course, you know that's my rice. And when I went to Target, um, they had messed up my purchase, they couldn't find my purchase, so they gave me two free gift cards. The purchase um, was ten dollars, and they gave me a gift card for fifteen dollars. So that's what I was telling you guys right there that I didn't really pay anything. Um, what else in the bag? That is oh my salt fish. I like to use that particular brand because it's wild catch and I like um, wild catch stuff because um, there's no chemicals or um, stuff in it which is very good and let me see what else I'm showing you guys oh a mango that my husband picked up I was saying in this particular video right here that you can left the country but they can't take the country out of you um, because my husband is so obsessed with fruits he can eat fruits um, for breakfast lunch and dinner he loves mango cane knees berries every single fruit that's out there he's obsessed with okay that's my pineapple I'm going to use to make my pineapple strawberry drink okay let me see what else okay so I'm showing you guys that the riser that I had my soap and um stuff on all-purpose cleaner on in my kitchen i'm putting that one up because as you can see i showed you guys that i'm going to be using the new target one that i'm obsessed with guys go get you one i'm telling you it is for ten dollars and the quality is awesome doesn't um store water very easy to wipe off and it looks like it's i'm going to have a long time with it because um, it doesn't look like it wear and tear very easily I was expressing to you guys that those clothes that I want I like to wear them just to run to the store because it's so comfortable to go down to the store down the corner because I don't have to dress up I just chose to throw those on and go um, pick up whatever I'm picking up at Target down the block and I was showing you guys my um DPQ um room spray and that was in the scent babes I was explaining to you guys I'm obsessed with it one bottle will last you for two years because you only need a little a little goes a very very long way I got the Dipsy Q and in babes and I also got the um what you call it the Joe Malone 
and I got the Joe Malone in what did I get it in? Uh, I don't even want to get up but yeah I got the Joe Malone and I will tell you guys when I get out of bed because I'm laying here while I'm doing the voiceover what scent I have it in and it is to die for it's a lighter scent than the um, um, the DPQ um, babe scent base is lighter than it but both scent um, stays it lingers around very long lingers around for days if you put it on your clothes you can smell it days after like that's how good it is a very very a little goes a long way I paid $62 for the Joe Malone and for the DPQ I paid um, $72 yes and I got them from Saks Fifth Avenue that's my go-to store where I usually get um, my high-end brand stuff and of course I am a member so I got free shipping the total was 132 with the tax it came up to 145 and change so yes I'm very very pleased with my order because like I said I am obsessed with those two brands and yeah that's me showing you guys how much I paid for it so yeah guys why am I doing this voiceover and I'm actually falling asleep that's how tired I am um yeah so I'm showing you guys the receipt and I can't wait to be over with this voiceover oh my god I think I have like three more minutes left um do I I don't even know it seems long I don't know if I'm going to do all of it it's too long so yeah I'm just telling you guys that I have to clear my counter up and that I'm going to come back and do the cook with me the Jamaican national dish which is the ackee and the saltfish and I'm gonna cook that later on today and also show you guys um, what I got from what what I'm oops, sorry what I have coming from Timu um, it should be delivered today so now I'm showing you um, those wine glasses that I got from Timu I only bought two I didn't want to buy more than two um, because I did not know the quality and I'm also showing you guys some spoon teaspoon not teaspoon some spoon that I bought for my tea area with embedded words I bought four of these before and I was so in love with them then I, that I went back and bought six more to make it ten and I was reading to you guys what those inspiration words um, are saying on this spoon and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna open them individually and show you guys okay okay so I'm showing you guys um, what they say one says B um, B E E B B something I forgot but once I start um, doing my cooking I'm gonna go back and show you guys and read what it said so you guys can know what I was saying because like I stated before I'm in bed 
while I'm doing this voiceover. So yes, guys, I'm back. I'm back an hour later. I took a little cat nap, but it's enough to uh, rejuvenate me. So I'm still, still doing, still drying my other blanket. It's basically dry because I could turn off this because this is making a lot of noise and I don't want this to interrupt what I was saying so as I was, as I was explaining in the voiceover um, that I did um, before this is that the scent for the um, Jo Malone is um, is the English pear it's the English pear um, freesia. So it's the English pear freesia. And this is what it is. And it smells very good. It's very light. It's a lighter scent than the um, than the DPQ um, base. It's, this is very, 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 very strong. You need a little tip. You need a little tip of this too, but this is more lighter. This is more, I'll say this will be more for like, if you're going to spray it on your pillow and your linens, I'll say this will be a better one for the linens. And this will be like better for the room spray because this is very strong. You only need a little tip. Um, one bottle of this usually lasts me for two years or more. It lasts very long because like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So yeah, that's what I was explaining, but I had to cut that part off in the voiceover because I was falling asleep and I was getting annoyed and I was so annoyed that my video did not um, came out with any sound because I put a little effort in it and I was talking some good stuff and I don't remember what I was saying in it. So I was mad about that. But anyway, something fell. I don't know what the, this is my receipt. Oh yeah, and I was telling you the price. I was saying to you um, that I bought it from Saxon Avenue, one of my favorite store for my upper brand um, products. And it came up to $145. The, the, um, the Jo Malone was $62 and the DPQ was $72. And of course, the tax was eleven dollars and eighty nine cents. Came up to one hundred and forty five eighty nine. I got free shipping because I am a Saks Fifth Avenue member. So yeah, that's what that's what I was saying in the end part of the voiceover. And also, I was the last unboxing that I did in the voiceover when I was showing you that box. I was opening that box. This was it. This the flute wine glass from Timu. Absolutely love, love, love them. They are very sturdy. I only bought two because I wasn't sure of the quality, but I'm telling you guys, these are very solid. It doesn't look like it's very easy to break. It feels very sturdy. The glass feels like quality and it's also um, lead free. I make sure whenever I'm buying any type of glass that it is lead free. So yeah, so that was it. Oh, and I was telling you guys about the a package. I'm going to come back when a package arrives. So that package has arrived from Timu. Let's see if we can do a thumbnail. Okay, so I've been waiting for this for a whole week, guys. So this is when I was telling you guys that I'm going to replace um, my syrup container. I'm still keeping this, but I don't know what I'm going to put in there. But I have two different syrups in this. I have um, caramel on the right and vanilla on the left and i want it to be separate because i find that when i do it like how i have it the caramel as you can see the caramel is has a little small portion in the middle and it's it gets very empty too quick so 
I want to even them out because my brother likes vanilla and I like the caramel. I'm going to even it out. So this is what I got. Let me bring this down so you guys can see. Oh, they're not small. I thought it was small. So this is it. This is going to be my new syrup dispenser. From the description, it looked like it was small, but it's not small. So I know they have some on, on Timo or, or on Amazon, same thing, but they're plastic. This one is actually glass and the base to keep it is plastic, but it's an acrylic plastic, hard plastic. So cute. So all you gotta do is press like this and release the syrup. Drop it right down here for storage. When you're done, it looks big. So let's go over here, guys. Let's go over here. So I don't know because it looks, it's very, oh, it has the plastic around and rubber around here, I guess for non-slip purposes, which is cute. This is my sugar, but not real sugar. This is, um, um, this is, um, monk sugar and in utero. So this is the other one I bought too. It says fragile right here. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to wash them out and put the syrup in it. it. Has a little foam thing in here to protect it. So it's 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 well protect, protected in shipping, so that's good. And I'm going to test it out and show you guys. Tip will keep falling. So as you can see, there's a little rubber in here. I guess too. And it's a very thick glass, guys. It's a very, very solid glass, very heavy. So you know it's good quality. It's not flimsy. I hope it lasts a long time and I hope it's sturdy enough. So this is it. So this is what it's gonna look like on the coffee area. So this is going to be caramel and vanilla, whichever one. I just have to relabel them so that we know what it is. And that's it. And in the voiceover, I was showing you guys the spoon and I was telling you that they have names on them. And I cut the video off. This I had before. This one said Jesus and tea. This one, oh, when I was talking about the B, it says be happy. So B E E happy. That's what I was saying. It says tea time, me time. Um, this one says spoonful of special special strength. This one says life is tough, but my darling, so are you. That says that right there. This one says you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think. This one I've been had. I had four of them before. And this one says just a spoonful, spoonful of sugar right here. And this one says it's tea o'clock somewhere. And then this one says I am with you always. And it says Matthews. Um, Matthews 28 versus 20. Love these. So yeah, those are in my coffee area and now I got 10. Um, this, I'm going to move this and put it somewhere else. I don't know, but let's, um, let's wash this. Oh my God, guys, it fell. Okay. I don't see any crack. Oh my god, did it crack? Yes, guys, it cracked. It cracked. Um, it's 
not a big crack but right here in the creases you can see that it cracked oh my god oh god I'm gonna put some glue in it see split, split right down here you can see I'm gonna put some glue in it we'll kind of glue it back oh I'm so mad but yeah let's wash that and fill it up I'm so disappointed. I'm going to see if I can get a replacement. I don't think I'm going to eat that. I don't want to eat that. Definitely going to get a replacement on this. The devil is a liar. So... I'm gonna wash this and we get straight to cooking. And then my husband's sleeping. I have to probably wait till he wake up so he can help me with the juicer to make my juice. Cause it's his, he knows how to work it. You know, he makes a lot of natural juices. I really don't juice anything like that unless I'm juicing orange juice. So we're just washing this out. Let me put you guys to the side. So disappointed. I'm gonna go right now and get a replacement. This one's too big. Oh no, this one could fit. I love this. I uh, also got this from Timo. Wash stuff very well. I feel like if the bottom was like the hard glass like this, I think it probably would have not broke. But because you know acrylic is very easy to break. So so this is very hard, very, very hard plastic, I mean glass. I feel like it's not easy to break. I'm so mad, I feel like I wanna cry. I don't know if you ever get that feeling where you get something and you can't wait for it and you're so excited and once you get it something happens to it instantly like you didn't even get a chance to use it or enjoy it enjoy it not even for a minute so i feel like i want to cry but it's vanity so i'm not gonna beat myself beat myself up over it but I'm definitely going to try to get a um get my money back so I can order another one, of course. <sighs> I'm just trying this up because I'm gonna put the syrup in it. Okay. All right. So let me get my sugar-free morning syrup. And this one is gonna be for me. I'm gonna put one with regular um with regular syrup for my daughter and I'm gonna put mine with the um with the sugar-free syrup tastes just the same way like the one with sugar 
so I guess you gotta put this in here to stop it from leaking fill it up mm -hmm. I really do love it. I'm just so mad at bro. So this is the sugar-free one and I know it's a sugar-free one. Okay, you gotta like press down on it to screw. So let's see if it leaks. Cause I said it doesn't leak. Let's see. So, so far, I don't see any leaking. And then I guess you gotta press this right here. For the syrup to come out. So it's kind of cute, it's different. It's not like the everyday one that everyone has, but it is pressing down. I like this, this is different. And a little cup. You know to protect it this is this is well made very taut like whoever made this they put some taut in this so i don't think when you pull it out it should stick or have like a falling issue it's good i think i want to put it in the back just to kind of protect it I'm falling because I don't want it to fall from my daughter the way it fell from me. So I'm gonna put this back and I'm gonna put the regular. The regular um French vanilla one for my daughter. She loves this one. I said she's obsessed with vanilla. Obsessed. So I'm going to let her know that this is not the sugar-free one, so she can just use this one. And don't use the caramel because she don't really like the caramel. She likes everything in vanilla. I don't know why. Even candles, scented candles, vanilla. Yes. So that's that. Let's see it up. You have to kind of like push down for it to turn. This is very dope. Like, I'm kind of glad like I didn't get those. Wait, this one kind of have like a suction. Let me see something. This is what I'm scared of. Sticking. Wait, something just leaked on my hand. Hmm. Wait, syrup just, I just tilted it over and syrup leaked. Let me see what's going on here. Syrup, syrup is leaking from somewhere in this one. Hold on. Let me close it again. Okay. It's good. Maybe I pulled up too much. I don't know. But. That's that. And the sugar. So that's how it's going to look. Um. I think I should put the sugar in the back. What do you think, guys? Put the sugar in the back. This I'm going to wash out and put it up. Because we won't be using this anymore. Alright, so I'm going to wash this up. Put it back. I'm going to prep for food. And I'll be right back. So I'm back, guys. So I'll wash it out. I'm just going to put it up. I thought I told me to keep the labels on it just in case I want to use it in the future. I'm just going to keep the labels on it. I'm going to put it 
in my cupboard somewhere in the back mm -hmm. trying to find a space to put it so no one breaks it okay so i put it somewhere in the back let's get to the cooking um Jamaican national dish, ackee and saltfish, mm -hmm. strawberry, strawberry's making a mess, I gotta bleach that up, uh, let me hurry up because I gotta cook fast because my husband is going to work, and I'm trying to extend this and I have to make sure that he gets something to eat, so first we're going to put on the water for the banana you have to rinse this out like i like to rinse up everything that i use it's just a habit even though it's clean already i still like to rinse up stuff That water. Put this up in the meantime. I'm so in love with these guys. Actually, this this um dish drain actually comes with something in the back right here for wine glass, but I don't use it. It's right here in the back to hang the wine glass because it's too big. So. I was using that first, but then I realized it just taking up too much of my counter space. So I took that piece off. So we're gonna put you guys over here where you guys can see. So this is this stove. The back one. For the banana, so let them boil. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and a lot. And I've told you the guys that I use this one, the grinder, the pink one, the mineral. So that's for the banana. A little bit of olive oil. And I'm washing my hands off. This cabbage I'm not gonna cook so this can go in the fridge. I'm trying to hurry up. What else I don't need? I'm not going to make two. I'm washing off this. I'm washing off the bag. I'm not going to make two, so I'm going to put one of the salt fish in the fridge as well. I like to wash off my stuff when I get them from the store. These are juices and stuff. I like to wash them off. Um, we're gonna use this season. This is avocado. One is red. Oh, everything is just falling from me today. So, oh yeah, I did one on TV and I put it um for a refund. Took a picture of it, and I got my money back. So I'm gonna order another one. Hopefully that one don't break. Avocado. So I put the avocado on my table. And this is to make my juice so that could stay over here. 
This one's probably the bleach to clean the counter off because the strawberry stained it. This we need over here. I'm trying to hurry up because my husband gotta go to work and I don't have all that much battery time. Okay. So we're gonna get the sawfish wash and boil. We turn on the stove. Let me get the pot to boil the sausage in. These are all clean and ready, but like I said, I always like to rewash them out. And you just never know. Stuck. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. I'm trying to pull on the spray. Just gonna wash off some of the salt before I start boiling it. Because so, yes, you have to boil the salt off, guys. A lot of salt and you know you can't eat it like that. Boil it as much as possible until you get all the salt off. But I also like to wash the salt off first. So many salts. I guess they salt that the salt is like that. It's a preservative. I like to buy this one in the pack. This blue pack wild catch one because it boils out very fast. The salt boils off of it very fast. So that's why I like to buy that one. Wait, which one? Okay. You don't need to cover the pot when you're boiling it up. Because you don't want the pot to run over. Okay. And I'm going to put my seasoning now. And this is very easy to cook, very fast. Let me try to clear up some of the count some of this. I, I hate working a lot of stuff around. Wait, is, is this dry? No, let's dry some more. You want to use this part? I was looking more like my seat. And I put these like in the room, but I'm saying stuff. Okay. I'll hurry up. Okay. 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 Ok
Not a banana bush in the fridge. They're not in the food. Which one's in the next one? Yeah. Alright, let's put this one in the fridge. Yeah, don't go through the mic. I'll wash everything off the fridge. Okay. 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 I'm gonna wash this when you're in it. Put this in the back, please. Okay. So let me bring you guys a little closer. Because, my fact, let me check the season right over here where the water is so I can wash and prep at the same time. Guys, I'm so in love with this Target riser that I was telling you guys. Obsessed. Okay. All right, so we're going to do so we're going to do um make sure you wash everything. And some people talk and they don't wash this stuff. We're going to do Sweet pepper. Cut it up. It wants to be any specific way. You just cut up. Oh, I don't have to be perfect. I also I could take the inside part off. I'm not going to use all of it. This. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Oh, wait, I have a piece already that was um, already cut. I might as well just use it. Yeah, I might as well use it because this one was already cut from something else that I already did. Cut. Put this in the garbage. I'm gonna grab my onion from behind here. I'm gonna show you guys where I keep my onions. My hair hang on the wall. The pot, the pot. I mean, I said pot. The pot is warm enough for the banana. So we gotta get that in there right away. Taking off the skin. I just peel off anyway. I don't do it perfect. As long as I get the skin off, that's all that matters. Wash it off. My kids hate seasoning. They don't like all this stuff in their food. But who's going to cook without this? But they usually just pick them out. That's their business. My food has to be seasoned, well seasoned too. Okay. I'm gonna use one full one. My kids don't eat too much Jamaican dish, but they will eat this one. They like the meat, like the oxtails and stuff like that, and the curry goes. But anything that has to do with veggie and salad and stuff like that, healthy, they got a problem with it. Um, 
my good pepper. Just gonna use this one. I'm not gonna use too hot. Those are my seasoned pepper. My sorry, my flavor pepper. I told you guys about in my last cooking video. It's like I can't cook with these. I'm obsessed with these, and I don't I don't see this everywhere. To be honest with you. But in the Korean store in Brooklyn, yeah, they always have it. My mom actually put me on to these peppers, peppers years ago, and I never stopped using since. Like I can't cook without it. This is what it looks like. These, these are what they look like. Oh my god, they're so flavorful. Comment down below if this pepper is in Jamaica. I don't remember seeing this pepper when I was a little girl in Jamaica. It's not a hot pepper. It's just flavorful. Just give it a flavor. But it smells like pepper. Like if if you smell it, you would think that it's hot, but it's not. Okay. Scallion. I kind of got some different type of scallion today. They didn't have the scallion that I want, so it's whatever. I got this one. Same thing. I think this one probably got. I don't know what that butt is. Is this the root? I don't know. But same thing. Does the same job. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of the skin in the fridge. Oh god, this this is in my way. Let me move this. And I take the skeleton out of the bag because when you take it out of the bag, it actually lasts longer in the refrigerator. You keep it in the bag, it's going to sweat up. Okay, tomato. I don't put tomatoes into everything that I cook. Like I don't put tomatoes into curry chicken. What if I don't, what if I don't put tomatoes into? I'll be back. Somebody's calling me. So I'm back, guys. So I was saying I don't put tomatoes into my cabbage. Does it taste funny? It's a bit of sour taste when I put it in the cabbage. So no, I don't put it in a cabbage. Well, not my curry chicken. I'm just gonna take the rest out the bag and put them in a the tray. Now, behind here, like I showed you guys, I keep my garlic and stuff behind here. So, I'm going to grab my garlic. And those are the baskets I got from Timu. I showed you guys in one of my on Timu unboxing. I'm, I love those baskets. At first, I was saying they were small, but hey, they work for perfect for me. Let me just drop this back around here. On the basket. I'm going to show you how I prep my garlic. I'm trying to move fast because my husband got to go to work. I'm just going to say, oh, you're not making out for me to eat. I'm just not cooking and I got to leave soon. The pumpkin cook very fast. So I'm just gonna do the dumplings first. 
as it is and I'm making um, dumplings from whole grain so we're gonna I use my grater and I grater my garlic because I like when everything is nice seasoned and marinated so I like to grater my garlic and I got this I used to see some other grater but I got this one from Kimu and I'm more obsessed with this one stainless steel it's just one long thing and it's just very easy to use the other one I used to scrape my fingers because it was so small this one is very good perfect size so I'm doing my garlic I'm gonna wash this right away because I don't like I like to wash as I go I don't know if you guys cook like that too wash and go at the same time so that way everything could be clean and you just eat okay of course you know I'm not gonna leave out my time Wait, 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 guys. Okay. My fingers are wet, so it's like I can't get a grip. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. And you have to wash them first, guys. This time, they're nice and fresh. I like them. I wash them and squeeze them like this. Make sure I wash them good. Put that right there. Put this in the refrigerator. And we're going to go over here now. Because we're going to get... What do I should do? Okay. Is there stuff in this fridge? Hi, Aiden. I don't know what's going on with this fridge. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm trying to fix it. Okay, fine. I was like, we'll stop it if I'm opening wide. Okay. Now, over here. Wait, let's show you. We wash the banana first. Banana, banana. Where I put the banana? Oh, I put the bananas right over here. So we just cut this off. Same thing like I did in the last cooking video with the bananas. Just gonna wash them off. Cut both sides. Wash them off. These are very small. They're having a good one. I cut them in half, but they're so small. I don't have to do that with these ones. I'm gonna put them in half just like this. Okay, guys. So let's go over here. I'm gonna slice them now and put them in a the pot. Mm -hmm. I'll just put two slices like this. One in the back and one in the front so that way when it's cooked it's easy to get the banana out of it. And you don't want to do it too deep, you want to barely do it just by the, the, um, the skin. You don't want to go in here and cut the banana in half so you want to barely do it just like that. Just the skin, the green part. They're slicing, not the white part. Oh, 
and the sausage is boiling so we're gonna we're gonna throw this water off and catch some more water on the salt fish let's use this one i'm just gonna see which one should i use with this so let's throw the water off then we catch fresh water i know you guys want to see everything so i'm taking you all to the full journey let's catch fresh water And we're gonna boil it again. We're gonna boil it until there's no sodium. Okay. Oh, well, that's that. Okay, banana is cooking. Banana is so small, it just we don't cover the pot. We just half half weight so it doesn't boil over. And let's get the pumpkin going and the dumpling because the Akiana sawfish is very easy to cook. So. I'm gonna put the Aki in this pot. And uh, the pumpkins. I'm gonna put the pumpkin in this pot. And I don't wanna use the these big pots. I don't want to use these big pots because I'm not making so much. So I might have to use put the, the dumpling in a pot where I'm boiling the sausage because I'm not I'm not using that big big pot for so much. The dumpling. Okay. Let's wash this out and clean out the sink. Let's see how far the video is so far. Okay. Let me take the battery life, hold on, because it wasn't a lot. Okay, 32%. Hopefully that's enough. Put this in garbage. You know, I think I should do the dumpling in this pot. I put dumpling in this pot, put them on first. That way, as it takes longer to cook than a pumpkin, get the dumplings out of the way. Yeah, let me put dumpling in this pot. Let's spread in this pot. I'm going to use the pumpkin in the other small pot. Mm -hmm. Let's catch the water. Put the salt in the water. So this it it gives you very small grains of salt, so I gotta keep doing it a lot. 
and my dumplings don't use salt because I just make them with fresh water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Container for the dumplings. I mean, you, I keep looking at time because time goes so fast. Over here, this one is over here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and we are, yeah, mm -hmm. so this is whole grain dumpling, guys, 100% whole grain dumplings, and, huh, nice, just have a, just have a fun app on this. Yeah. This thing I'm sure I'm gonna use the juicer to make the juice. Yeah, I'm making a video. You can talk. I'll put your mouth. So yes guys, we're gonna make the dumpling. Add water. Don't wanna put too much water to make it soft. Just enough water. I used to hate to make dumpling. I but ever since I started making this whole grain dumpling, ever since I started making these whole grain dumplings, I don't mind making them. It's not like when I make the white flour and it sticks on your hand very bad. This don't do that. So I kind of actually don't mind making these ones. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to need a little flour like that need a little bit more water you just add water as you go you just use your own discretion you don't want to put too much water and make it too sappy and this whole grain dumpling tastes very good not like the others that taste funny you know sometimes healthy stuff don't taste right but this actually Case. Very good. Okay, just keep doing until you get a smooth dough. Everybody in my house loves dumplings. My kids don't like the whole whole wheat dumpling, but oh well. They don't gotta eat none. Me yeah, and my husband love it. And my other son loves it too. Okay. That's my dad, I'm going to go to my dad, vacation. Okay. 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 That's what I'm washing off the hands. I have to outline this one. The garbage. Talk about cooking cook fast, that's me. Okay. Do you like hot water? Okay. 
Let's wash this pot in the meantime. Have it ready. Okay. So that's done. Let's let's do the pumping. Let's get prepping in time. Okay. Wash this one This is back one You can drop it here. Okay. I'm going to use my big knife. Okay. Okay. I'm going to build. I'm talking about all this stuff. I'll just cut this one guys. Okay, so hard. I hate cutting some things. I will do my timeboard. I don't have time, please. I know, watch it out, back. I'm trying to go fast. I'm not going to go fast. I'm not going to go fast. I'm just cutting up this. Okay. One, two, three, four. Well, five pieces. I'm going to cut a little bit more. That's it. I'm not going to cut it. Okay. That's too much work. I'm going to clean off. In the middle. I'll just pump it. I'm going to put it in the fridge. Just like that. Put this part in the refrigerator because I'm not putting all this on. Okay. So that was what time we got left. Well, I'm going so fast. How many, how many minutes on the phone? Twenty-five percent. Oh my god. We gotta hurry up, guys. Oh, hurry up. Okay, so we just cut the middle of the pumpkin out like that. Okay. Wait, let me use this knife. I'm gonna use this knife. To get this out of the way. So it doesn't get soapy. Okay, so. My phone is ringing, not answering that call. And I'm just taking off the back of the pumpkin very lightly. I like to leave a little bit of green on it because this is fiber. So I like to leave a little bit of the fiber on it. I don't take it all the way off, as you can see. But I'm not boiling it yet, I'm just prepping it. Alright, so let me go prep this and be right back because the battery's dying and everything's running low. So I'll be right back, okay? So guys, I'm back. I'm not using a microphone, so hopefully you guys can hear me. I have to take the microphone out because my phone needs to be charged, so I actually the same part where you put the microphone is the same part where you use the charging port. So the charger is right over here. I can't move this too far because it's on the charger. So let's go over here. Hopefully you guys can see me from this handle right here. So let's go over here. I'm gonna wash my hands. And I'm so obsessed with this, guys. <laughs> I can't express that enough. So wash your hands and we're going to start putting the dumplings in the pot. We're still boiling the salt fish, aka codfish. Okay. And I got the pumpkin right here. This is the Aki. We're going to use the brace one. All right. We can find somewhere else to put these pumpkins. Let me put them back over here. 
and I'm gonna work in this section. You see, I prep all the pumpkins to have some. Woo woo! I gotta wash that because touch my clothes. Let me wash it off, but it still has some green on it. Let me wash this off. Come in, guys. Okay. Dry my hands now and start making the dumplings. You guys need to be lower. Yep. I'm just so mad my battery's dying because I can't move the camera the way I want to move it. So now, you can see the dough is nice and smooth. And I'm going to start making dumplings. I'm making it very small. I don't like the big, big dumplings. So I'm pushing them in to make them tight. See it holding. Push it in. Push it in. Push it in like that to make them tight. I like my dumplings to be tight. And then spin it like that. First on it. I don't know, in Jamaica, I have, you know, not high, I had a basic cook, I was a kid. But you put them like this, they could hold them like that. That's how I see all oh, my aunt make them. I'm going to take a little extra virgin olive oil. In the pot with the dumplings. A little stick. Let me get my wooden spoon. Let me wash my wooden spoon off for you guys. So, wash my wooden spoon. Put the dumpling and I put it in there. I like to spin it right away. Make sure the pot is boiling hot because you don't want the dumpling to stick to the pot. I'm going to do all the things, just some. As it is already on the lawn, as it is. Okay. Alexa, I'm so good. Aw, you just made my day. <laughs> she said, I'm just made my day. 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 She said, I'm just I can't touch the thing to show you guys and I'm gonna add the dumpling. I don't like to make them here, but stop. Woo! Look at that Brooklyn! Jason! Jason! Wow! Look at the transition! Wow! Today is the day I'm gonna go out of my inside. Look at this, look at me. Right in the middle. Watching what's going on right now in Brooklyn with this rain. Wow! Look at the elevator. I wish I could show you guys. Turn the camera around and show you guys. Wow! Missing my dumpling. Live from ABC 7 New York. How fast is that? Alexa, no. pause. Pausing is not supported. The stream on multiple. Alexa, devices. stop. How dare her talk about pausing not supporting this? Stop then. You can't pause. Stop. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn this into two. I wanted to stop the video, but I don't want to stop it when I'm doing the dumplings. So I'm just gonna continue to push dumpling. But this video is going to be super long. It's probably going to be my longest vlog video so far. For a daily vlog, this is long. I think I could turn the bananas off. I'm gonna turn the bananas off. The dough is a little bit moist because hard put a little too much water in it. But it's good. See, it's sticking to my hands. Okay. So all the dumplings are in and I'm spinning them. So stick to the pot. Now we can move the phone around. We're gonna go to the sink and wash this out. Let me get this off my hands first. I'm talking low and I'm not wearing my microphone. I keep forgetting that I'm not wearing the microphone. I'm so sorry guys. Hopefully you guys can hear me in the video. I'm gonna use this to wash this out. This out. Okay. I'm gonna use this to wash it out. Right? This is no, we have a drain of the salt dish and boil it one more time. So for three times, it's actually good enough to put all the salt. Just a little bit. Let's get the thing. Guys, look at my my dumplings. Let me see how much battery, battery life I have. If I could move it closer. Well, the battery's not going up and it's not going down either. So I'm using my pen. Putting a lot of battery today. So let's spin this. In the meantime, I want to make my juice. I'm going to use my new wine glass. All right. Jason! Jason! Come here, please. Oh, 
I'm just over here washing something out, guys. I'm right here. Oh, I said I was going to turn the banana off. This one. I'm pretty sure that's cooked. Turn that off. And I'm about to turn my banana off. Usually I drain the water off, but I'm not going to drain it off so early because I want it to still be hot the food. Let's clean it under here. I love this. I got this from, from Burlington. This marble thing right here from Burlington, a very affordable price. And I was telling you guys that I'm obsessed with this. I am very obsessed with this. And it's not even leaking, guys. It's really leak proof. I really like it. Okay. Let's get back to business. Can you show me how to use a blender so I could make this juice? I'm gonna make this juice. So I'm gonna make my juice and I'll be right back, guys. I have to show you guys how to make this for sure. Everybody should know how to make some strawberry pineapple juice. Yeah, all right, I'll be back. Once it's time to put the sausage and the pumpkin on, I'll be back. Guys, I'm just showing you a sneak peek of what I'm doing here. Just a little sneak peek. And my husband is peeling the pineapple for me because it's hard for me to peel the pineapple. Going, I have a lot more to go, so I'll be right back. I'm back, guys. So I got my phone charged up a little bit. I'm doing so many things at once. So the salt fish, the salt fish is boiled. So I'm just gonna break it up. Let me get a fork. Use a fork to break it up. And. The pumpkin, the water is on for the pumpkin. Wait, it's too high. Let me get a fork. Hold on, guys. Let me just wash it. Okay, so just taking the um, fork to like break up the salt fish. I'm going to put the um the dumpling in the back part of the stove so I could use the front part of the stove for the um the ackee and the soft fish. Put the dumpling in the back. Let's half cover it. You don't want to fully cover it so it boils over. And this is boiling up. Once it's boiled up, we're going to put the pumpkin. Let's go ahead and remember we already washed this pot. So when it get hot, we're going to start with the, with the, um, the ake. In the meantime, I was juicing, making my juice. Put it here. I want it nice and natural. I don't want it diluted or anything. We still got our seasoning over here. Let's put the seasoning over this side. I'm rushing. Let me see what time is it. Okay. So I got this going on. Turn the juice on. Okay. Thank you. 
I'm gonna straight because I went nice and thick like a smoothie. <laughs> Guys, I'll be back once the pot is hot. So the pot is hot. Um, wash my hands off. So we're gonna go ahead and put my coconut oil. I love to cook with coconut oil or olive oil. That's the only two oil that I use. Doing so many things at once. I'm trying to rush. My husband is leaving. Or I'm trying to make everything done. Okay, it looks like it's hot. So let's go ahead and add the seasoning. Let me turn this down a little bit. It looks like it's a little too hot. Let me wash this off. It's a lot of season, let me show you guys. It's a lot of season, let me show you. It's a lot of season. Okay, hold on guys. Bring this down low. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna add a little tip of butter to it. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of butter. I'm going to wash this off and use it. And like I always say, this is the only butter that I use. It's the Smart Balanced Butter. And that's the only butter that I use. Oh, the stove is too low. Mm -hmm. And then... Let's go ahead and wash the pumpkins again and add them in. I wash it already after you wash it so they're out for a little while. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Oh, woo! I put my hands too close to the water, guys. Woo! That burns. And my pumpkins are in. The pumpkins don't take very long to cook, it very easy to cook. Okay, looks like I'm back on track. Now we are going to open up the can of um, 
Archie. And this is kind of open and I'm doing it. I got this on Timo. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you how it opens. I love the way to wash a can off. My mom taught me always wash your hands stuff off. So put it like this. And it's just gonna open this from the edge. Only from the edge. Very safe opening. I love that about it. Let me show you guys. Okay, it's done. See? Look at the way I open guys, so smooth. You can take your hands and rub around here. So smooth. And release it. I'm gonna squeeze off the water. I'll be missing. You want I'm gonna see me squeeze the water off? I guess so. I'm gonna see everything. Take the water off. You don't use the water. I don't know if people use it, but I don't. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the Aki in the pot. Fish. And then now we're going to add our powder seasoning. Mrs. Dash, my Dash garlic, my Dash onion, and of course, my Maggie's. I'm not leaving up my Maggie's. And this is salt free. This too is salt free, and then Maggie's have a little bit of salt in it, I guess. So that's it. Then we're gonna go ahead. And add the Maggie's. I'm almost out of Maggie's. I don't know. Fine. I can afford to be out, guys. This is the only season that I use because it's not salt. And it's using the food just right. I'm also opening up because it's finished. I gotta go to the store tomorrow and get me get me more. So I might as well just open up if they're gone. I don't like when I cook it and stuff spill on the stove. I hate that. So that's that. Let me taste it. And then wash my hands.
Okay. We cover that up. Let that cook. And let me flip this camera background. My hair is a mess because I went outside in the rain. So let me flip this back over to me. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna crush my pumpkin with butter. Well, let me wash my hands on her. And let me start back with my juicing. Put you guys over here. It's gonna be a long video. Mm -hmm. Let me charge. Let me turn on the stove on Aki. Okay. Start back with my juicing. <laughs> So I'm done with my juice. Let me put the camera around. Good. And I put it in the freezer. Yes, my natural juice in the freezer. To cool. Also. Oh shoot, the fridge will close. Hold on, guys. Now it's closed. And also the Aki under soft fish is finished. Turn that off. Pumpkin is done. Hey guys. Ooh, it's hot, hot. Hold on, hold on guys. Camera, I gotta put the camera down a little lower. Okay. Let me do something to hold it. The hole because it's hot, so pumpkin is done. I'm gonna I'm gonna crush my pumpkin. The banana is done, and the dumplings are finished. So I am going to. If you never heard of this before, I learned I learned about this from the item. This Ito restaurant I used to go to where they crush the pumpkin and the butter and it tastes so good. I'm gonna drain the water off and I'm gonna crush my pumpkin. Just to wash because me doing using that juicer, I create a lot of mess for myself with that juicer, but it's okay. So, we're gonna crush the pumpkin. And I told you guys, I don't eat potatoes, so sometimes I crush the pumpkin or I'll crush the banana with butter. Pumpkin butter it is delicious, guys. Let me just crush it. I'm gonna add. Let me get a spoon. Add the butter to it. You don't need a lot. you guys down in here okay so you 
guys, try this. Try it, there's crushed pumpkin butter. You will love it. And then you can just take it out and put it into a container. Once you're done. But before I put it into a container, I gotta clean up the kitchen first. It's too much mess. And I can't take it out. Too much mess, guys. Let's clean up the mess. I cannot, cannot, cannot take mess. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys. It fell. You don't have to bleach this, so you can see all the juice stain. Here, I'm gonna wash my dishes and I'll be right back. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be back. So, guys, I'm finished. My hands are wrinkled. Look at my fingers. Oh my god, it was drenched in water and bleach. I had to bleach my this rag as well because of the fruits so now wash my hands before I touch that so now I'm going to share out my dish so you guys can see. let me bring this camera down for you guys I'm going to share it with this. I'm going to tell you the crushed pumpkin with banana. I'm sorry, the crushed pumpkin with butter. Everything to die for. Now we're going to do the hockey. That's 
it. Now, I'm just washing these off for the next person to share the food. Now, we're going to do the juice. And This way, stick the same corner out. And we're all done so this is it guys don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time peace I just want